I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Ever since Brighton's been conned, Kay's been really down with dumps lately. But what Kay doesn't know is that Brighton's in Narnia right now. Hey Kay, yes? can you plan me a tripod on Narnia? Sure, Mr. Drosky. Good morning, Morning Shores. These are your daily announcements for Wednesday, December 18th, 2013. I'm Devon Dye. And I'm Nichelle. Friday at 12.30 p.m. to 1.10 p.m., the Career Tech Center Presentation Opportunities Program outlines and scheduling for junior and senior year will be held in the high school auditorium. Any interested 10th grade student who is even considering one of the many opportunities CTC has to offer should come to listen the possibilities. Talk to your fourth hour teacher today. Any boys who took first trimester PE classes and have left clothes or shoes in their lockers have until Friday to claim them or the items will be disposed of. Contact Mr. Baker to receive any items. In an effort to ensure Marshall Shores High School is a drug, tobacco, and alcohol-free campus, there will be a visit from the Muskegon County Sheriff Office K-9 unit sometime in December. Please report any suspicious behavior to the front office in order to maintain a safe and orderly learning environment. The Spanish Club will hold its Fiesta de la Navidad on Viernes, January 3rd at 11.30 at El Burrito. Come prepared to speak about holiday traditions in Spanish. We will also order our lunch in Spanish. Miss Ashby will help you with anything, but our waiter will not speak English. Fun, amigos, and Mexican food. See Miss Ashby for details. If you want to go to Cleveland for the art department and broadcast speech, see Mr. Drosky, Mrs. Benson Fennell, or Mrs. Hoinga. Your money is due by Friday. The second installment of The Hobbit, Desolation of Smell, trumps the Frozen at the box office. Amazon Prime drones deliver your packages in minutes. Man's hand is attached to his calf after having it cut off. This is Sailor Country, and we do everything with pride. I'm John. Girls interested in track and field will be signing up after school in room 306 today and tomorrow. We will begin training after the holiday break and attending some indoor track meets together. The JV boys basketball team improved to 4-0 with a win over the Fremont Packers 64-38. The Sailors defense was key to this victory. The win was a total team effort with eight players scoring for the Sailors. The Sailors will host the Spring Lake Lakers tonight. Come out and cheer us on. After a slow start in the first Baker game, junior Ben Romanello sparked the boys' bowling team to a win in Game 2, along with great performances by teammates Andre Smith, Don Veer Singh, Anthony Long, and Dan Rabink. The Sailors fought hard and continued to show improvement. The girls' bowling team had a very close match against the girls from Granville tonight. While leaders McKenna Birch and Megan Dyke would continue to have solid performances, junior Sarah David came up big again by surpassing and setting her current season high game. In addition, Andrea Zarni and Kiara Gray had great showings. Though the match would go to Granville, the Sailors were able to take the team game totals by one pin. Today in sports, the boys' basketball team hosts Spring Lake, the varsity wrestling team travels to Fruitport Quad, and the hockey team travels to Rockford, Griff's Ice House. Today will be a high of 31. Today will be a low of 30. That's all we have for you today, sailors.